Hey guys, welcome. Just wanted to show you some of the key differences between our DK product line. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to show you where we come from. So we're accustomed to making custom motion systems, kind of like what you see here. Uh, this was used uh, for a Polaris Razor off-road vehicle. Um, it's got over a foot of travel here. It's locked in place right now. There is a brake and a motor, a reduction gear. We have spring assist as well. Uh, but this would be something that we've done for many years, are very familiar with. Uh, basically making real vehicles or vehicle platforms or any kind of trucks, cars, scooters, whatever you want to call it, we can make almost everything move. So that's kind of where we come from. But back in uh, April of 2020, uh, we decided to uh, launch our own professional consumer product line. So this is what we have here. This is the DK2, the DK2 Plus, and the DK6. So I just wanted to go through some of the features of, of these uh, three products here and just kind of show you what the key differences are. So the DK2 is uh, a great product. This is our, uh, um, our, our, introductory, our introductory product. Um, it has a 500 pound uh, capacity. It comes with these half inch half inch uh, brackets which are included as you can see like this um, and the smaller motor is kind of like um, an s2000 motor if you will a honda s2000 those unfamiliar uh, as compared to something like this which we can like a v8 and you can see that the the larger frame of the motor will give you more torque so it will give you a, a better kind of a motion profile if you will so really what these would be designed for or why we designed these for is for uh, sim centers so anytime you have a large mass or a heavy chassis, you've got it loaded up or you don't know what kind of weight or environment you're going to be in, maybe these are going to be off a little bit, then that higher uh, weight motor is much better at handling those, um, those, those environmental changes. This is very much optimized for you know, packing it all up in one box, having it um, uh, efficiently manufactured, having it at a low, lower cost compared to others, and again, comes with all the brackets, comes with our special foot assembly as well, which allows for both movement, which is kind of hard to see on camera, as well as the angle changes that you will get when a chassis is bouncing around. So again, the big difference between these two, they're both two inches of travel. Uh, this one does 800 pounds, this one does 500 pounds total, which is more than enough for most chassis. And then um, last year we introduced the DK6, which uses the same motor as the DK2+, Plus, but as the name indicates, has six inches of travel, still has the same unique cap to foot design. And unlike the DK2 and the DK2 Plus, it has also multiple mounting locations. So it does come with a special bracket for the DK6, and it allows you to mount in three different locations here, or if you like, you could also mount it up there as well. Uh, and this one also does 800 pounds, six inches of travel, 800 pounds, two inches of travel, and then 500 pounds, two inches of travel. All made here in the USA and supported by us as well. Thanks for watching.